What's popping? I'll be presenting you today my Wild Frost Wild Hunt list. Wow, that was say wild enough times. And we're using the new card from the expansion, Laura. So Laura is new support for the Wild Hunts. It's also kind of deck with support too, but it's mostly Wild Hunt support. So what Laura is, it's very interesting for what Wild Hunt wants to do with the White Frost. But let me tell you what it just does. So it's a six for 11, but it's disloyal. So when you play it, you're playing it on your opponent's side of the field. And it, you know, it will get, you know, it's fine. But on deploy, it'll damage self by the total duration of frost on the, both enemies' rolls. So if you have three hits of frost on enemy roll each one, she'll damage herself by six, killing her. Why does that matter? Well, she has death wish to boost all enemy units by two. Since she's on opposite field, those are all your units by two. Then she has a graveyard effect when your opponent plays a gold wild hunt unit again that's you because it's in your opponent's graveyard while she's in the graveyard they also replay her from the graveyard and give it doom so if you properly sequence this up right you could play her she dies and sleep boosts everything up then next turn you play a gold wild hunt unit you play her again she'll die again boost everything up so she does a massive like boost all enemy units basically by four so this is interesting though she's super interesting you may think is this what wild hunt needed and it's funny to say but i think yes this is honestly might be what wild hunt needed the only negative i see about this card is the death wish where it boosts all enemy units by two it shows that you want to play her early well it shows you want to play her late but most of the times you will have most of your frost set up in the early portion and also because she has a graveyard effect you also want to play her early so she has a a late death wish effect but she wants to kind of play early that's where i feel like it's a little weird but honestly if the death wish was more of maybe like something that didn't care about how many units you had maybe like boost a singles i don't know maybe just spawn more frost or damage other units you know but that could be kind of weird i can see why the boost is there but even though she's weird in sequencing she's honestly exactly what wild hunt needed and here's why i say that she's another payoff for frost which frost can always need more payoffs but she's a disloyal unit so worst case worse let's say if your opponent roll stacks you could play her on the road that doesn't have any enemies on it but has frost on it and she will she, she will take a hit of frost so it's basically a way to play around your opponent roll stacking which is interesting because that's how you counter right white frost by roll stacking by playing her on the road that doesn't have any units or has very few units she counterbalances out the rolls which is really cool surprisingly really cool and then what the worst case she dies because you have so much frost you boost your whole squad it's it's a, a unique way to support wild hunt and i think it's just what they needed actually because you it sets up you don't have to move anything because you just place her on the roll and she can be the target of frost but other than that we are playing her in a, a wild hunt devotion list so there's no neutral cards in here they're all monster cards from our faction starting off with the location so the location has resilience so it means it carries over to the next round on deploy it boosts the ally unit by zero but wait increase the value by the number of unique bronze wild hunt cards in your starting deck in the, our list, we have a total of 11 unique bronze wild hunt cards in our list. So this is the maximum amount of boost you can get because it's unique. So you can't, duplicates don't count. We're playing every one of the bronze wild hunt cards we can play to get the maximum boost. So this plays already for 11 to 12, and we haven't even done the rest of the effects. On order, it spawns to play a Red Riders, which is this card that we'll go over later. And then it has devotion effect, which we're playing. Also spawn frost on enemies melee and range roll equal to the amount lost during the last round transition. Basically, it's like if you had any frost left over from the previous round, this will carry it over when you play it, when you use the order. It will carry over it to the next round. So you're never not really wasting frost. It's a good way because sometimes you can waste frost and it's really good. Now we have the king himself. He has uh, he evolves throughout the game, so I'll go over each of his things. So normally he does deploy spawn to play a random bronze wild hunt unit. Then you can evolve him. Then he becomes invader. He can be the same thing. You deploy create and play a bronze wild hunt unit, which is not random. You can pick it whichever you want. You can pick like 
one available like well the first one is random and the second one you can pick it but out of three and then if you add devotion it'll evolve itself again to the conqueror which on deploy it spawns to play a bronze wild hunt unit from your starting deck which we play every one so you have access to any one you choose from we play 10 there's 10 so you have 10 choices and then whenever you play a wild hunt unit boost it by one so it's an engine that plays a card that could theoretically play another engine but it's really one of the main payoffs for White Frost and Devotion, which is great. I already went over Laura. Then we have Aridin. On It's on deploy. It's a 7 for 10. On deploy, spawns Frost enemy roll for two turns. And then you have Dominance. So that means if you control a unit with the highest power or tied for the highest power, you get an additional effect, which is increase the damage dealt by Frost by 1, making it from 2 to 3. Honestly, if you micromanage your Dominance as well, which is good because White Frost hits the highest unit with the leader, which I probably should go over. Order, move an enemy unit to the other row, and there's Frost Frost on that row. He has two charges, and then whenever you play a Wild Hunt unit, if there's Frost on the opposite row, so be careful with placement, you boost it by one. So it has a passive effect, which is really nice. So basically, you know, it takes, if you have Dominance, because Frost is on the start of their turn, it deals damage to the highest unit, two damage, but Aerodin makes it three. So if you have a full set of, raw, of Frost, you can make it do six damage, it's really good. Niagara Far, really simple. Look at the two random gold cards from your deck. You play one, you move to, to the top. Pretty simple. Thinning also helps set up your draws. Good caller all around. Wild Hunt by name, so it's great. Emerald's Wrath, this card has been changed so many times. Basically, it's an eight provision cost card that damages an enemy unit by the power of your highest power unit. So it scales throughout the game. Or if there's frost on that row, it just straight up destroys it. It said, this is like our answer to defenders. We spawn, we move it, spawn frost, and then we just kill it or other means you know do we have our geth it's an echo card so when you play it you'll replay it'll move itself to the top of your deck so you can draw it for the next round basically real simple spawn frost on both enemy rolls for three turns really simple card eight provisions if it gets the full value out of its frost it will be 12 total damage so it plays up winter queen uh four per for for eight provisions at the end of your turn if there's frost on both enemies rolls it'll summon this up from your deck to your range row and then as the motion which you're playing once both players have passed boost self by two for each turn of frost remaining on your opponent's side of the field so your opponent has to keep in mind this when they pass because she'll just sneakily can steal around under their hands but it's also more thinning to help with consistency which is great and she you know great card comes out of the deck can't complain then we have one of my favorite cards on deploy play a wild hunt special from your deck but if you have devotion it plays any wild hunt card it's a two for eight provision basically extra thinning but because we're running devotion this can get any card out of our deck which is great to have and it's a wild hunt by name then we have one of the huge payoffs for the deck the golden child himself one cause for eight provisions you're like wow so weak but he has at the start of your turn while in hand or deck reset its power then boost self by the damage dealt by frost in the last five enemy turns so if you want the holy grail the holy grail would be six damage on each one it will be up to 30 points but usually you get it to around 20 to 25 points but still, that's one card for 20, 25 points, and that's usually your finisher. Good card, huge finisher for White Frost. You know, usually play it last. You love to see it. Then we have the Phantom, four for seven. It has Veil, so it can't be affected by status effects. It has Seal and Order. Melee specifically damages the enemy unit by three, but if you haven't used the Order at the end of your turn, it boosts self by one. This is basically how we usually reach dominance on ourselves if we don't have Frost to set it up. You play it, and it'll just keep climbing if your opponent can't deal with it good card to have and it's an engine you know we need some extra engines we have red riders the card i referenced earlier it's a special it's wild hunt by name two there's three effects you can choose one of these three either spawn frost on one row for four turns spawn frost on both rows for two turns apiece or spawn frost on one row for two and then replay a bronze wild hunt unit so in case one of your brown wild hunt units are heavily damaged or locked you can use it to out you know as a semi purify or reset to replay it, and then you still get frost off good card you know then we have the boys themselves the bruisers uh five for five damage or deploy move enemy unit to another row if that moves it to the row affected by frost damage it by two great to have a lot of movement in a strategy like this where people will roll stack and then you know also hurts it a little bit too this card can be used with Laura, maybe Laura's been weakened, but she's not dead. You can move her, and then Bruiser, if it moves it to a frost roll, will just snipe her and kill her off for you. 
Then we have the Riders, more thinning, on the play, dominance, summon all copies of this unit from your deck to the row, basically extra thinning, love to have cards like this in your strategy. We have the Slave Trader, this card's really like unique, weird effect, but it's interesting when it comes up. Uh, on deploy, it gains vitality equal to the total duration of frost on the opponent's side of the battlefield. And then it infuses the enemy unit with, at the end of their turn, so not your turn, their turn, if the enemy slave traver has higher power, set its own power to one, then lock self. So it's a way to kind of deal with an engine because trader will climb above that engine. And if you have frost on it, maybe the frost brings it down a little bit too. But it's it's kind of a unique way of dealing with an engine. It's a little slow, but it could get the job done in certain matchups. Then we have the crew, one of the better wild hunt cards available. That's why we run two. Deploy, spawn frost, enemy row for two turns. And then at the end of your turn, if there's frost on opposite row, boost up by one. So it's an engine that also sets up frost, does everything you want. It's the whole house. Great card. Then we have Conquerors. This is another Devotion payoff. It's a 7 for 4. It has Veil. And on Deploy, it destroys itself. But wait, if you have Devotion, it, will, it won't trigger the Deploy ability. So you just play it for 7. Great card to have. Simple. It's, you know, slam points. Does the job great. Then we have Taskmaster. This is our Purify because we're Devotionless. We need. We still need kind of a Purify. On Deploy, Purify enemy unit. But if you have a Dominance, you can Purify any unit. So your units as well. Usually that's our answer to defenders if we don't have our Wrath, but it can also be played defensively as a Purify for a lock or something. After that as Aristocrats, this card I've been kind of sleeping on. I want to play it at two, but I feel like all the other bronze units are perfect. Maybe I'll take out, a, I can't take out any other card for it, but I would love to play it at two if I had space. This card, I basically, it's a 4-4 on order. If you have Dominance, move an enemy unit to another row. But the great effect is, at the end of your turn, spawn Frost for one turn on each enemy row, which Frost was applied. So it doesn't double your Frost necessarily. It just gives them an extra tick whenever you do apply that Frost. But there are certain times you can set up two of these with, you know, the, with the King himself. And then you play one, and then every time you set up Frost, you get two extra turns. Sometimes you can overlap it, but it's great to have in shorter bursts, where you don't have a lot of amounts of Frost. She can basically provide that large amount of Frost. Really great card. I, I slept on this card. I didn't. I thought it was weird until I saw her in action. She's just a lot better. Then we have the Wild Hunt Warriors. Deploy damage enemy unit by two. Then if you have Dominance, also spawn Frost on the row for one turn. So what's nice is if they play a four cost card or less, this basically kills it because it damages by two. It's two to its three. So you have dominance and then the frost will take it out next turn. Sneakily, this can kill a, a, a engine that's not boosting itself. It won't it won't kill it if it's on five. It'll just make it at one, but it can kill a four cost uh, four power engine, which is good. Then we have the Hounds, another engine. Dominance at the end of your turn, boost self by one. Simple. A good combo to do is play Phantom and then play Hound on the right side of Phantom. You do this so that when Phantom triggers, it reaches that Dominance cap. And then after that, Hound would trigger. And since you have Dominance, it will boost self by one. So if they want to deal with Hound, they have to deal with Phantom because Phantom's climbing. So it's kind of a good pincher move maneuver, which is good to have. Another good bronze. Then we have the Navigator. Probably the weakest card out of all the bronze wild hunts but you know everything else is pretty solid so deploy boost the ally unit by the duration of frost on opposite row and then if you have dominance it boosts by the total duration of frost on your opponent's side instead so instead of being one row it will do both rows but <laughs> it's kind of weird excuse me it's kind of weird i just this is usually your molt father like you just mull it away every time you see it I, it helps you reach your dominance, but the fact that it also has the dominance effect as well is kind of just like annoying in a sense. But yeah, but yeah, that's lists. I run Magic Lamp because I don't feel like tactical advantage is needed because I don't really care about boosting my own cards. I just like having the extra points. But of course, if you have don't have that available, use tactical advantage if you just have that available. You know, I'm not gonna hold you at all. But yeah, that's the Wild Hunt list. I feel like this is probably the best way to play it i feel like devotion is the way and you have to run as much bronzes as you can to get the unique effect from your location but yeah laura's super interesting and i like what she provides to the deck 
I I was skeptical at first until I really played her, and she really grows on you. And I can see that higher skilled level players will use her to the maximum efficiency. But yeah, but that's my list. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into the game and see it right in action. Okay, so we are against Inspire Zeal. So to this makes you think game. this is an order-based deck. Going second. Okay. On the play. No, on the draw. I don't know. Second. You know what I mean. Uh, Witcher Queen is an instant uh, mole. You got Riders. I like having Lore early because then you could play her back. Everything else looks pretty good. We have law for boost for 11. Yeah, everything else looks really good. I can aggressively. Boost him. Okay, yeah, that's great. See how he opens up. Hopefully. Student. You see that? Anything alive would be dead now. Student Killer getting boosted spell. too, mind you. So, what if? Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Let me cook now. Let me cook. Student getting. Okay. I just want to troll so bad. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Hold this real quick. You make a <laughs> oh my gosh, I love movement. I could have played a card. Maybe I could have played her, but she's on order, so she doesn't do anything. Could have played this. But I want to set up the echo. Hopefully, he plays another melee. Interesting. This makes me want to drop my thing. Interesting. I don't think roll stacking matters for us. Oh, he plays right into our hands. So. Let's get him going. Winter Queen comes out. Hello. Only the pure white of snow. All else disgusts me. Now what's nice is that as long as we appropriately stack our frost, this should be constantly triggering. Yeah, so this cares about orders, but this is not an order card, which is weird. Okay, shut up. Damage so by the tournament's duration of frost on enemy roll. On the enemy's rolls. So right now it will damage it by eight. So it can it can die. Wow, I can literally play this and it dies immediately. Uh, but I think we're chilling though. We're kind of chilling. I want to play too slow. This only triggered on dominance. Currently, we do not have dominance, sir. Enough of I this. Mean, I just Enough, didn't. I said. Let the weather effects happen. So now, if we don't play more frost, well, we could always move for a frost. That means we use a leader charge. Do I want to use a leader charge though? I'm currently tied for dominance, so that means I do have dominance. Uh, I kind of want to play this. This might be aggressive. I feel a little too aggressive. What if I leader? I want to get her in a grave. I can chill. Now I'm doing three damage. Wish I had more movement though. So now she's going to damage her four at the moment. 
piece is priceless. Interesting boost. Interesting boost. I'm currently have dominance. This gets hit for three. So I could just play engines. Trying to shut down. Then I have a 50 50 for which one it hits. Never mind. I don't have a 50 50. Ooh, Roach. Mary, that's what matters. Hey, that's extra points for me, bro. I'll take it. Two arms! Inner charge use. Oh, that sucks. Because now I pass, he takes three. He has to play a card. Yeah, I'll take that. Or he could let it win on even. I forgot. Oh, I don't have dominance. So uh, he didn't lose three. So you could go for even, but I'm up a card. I don't think he wants to do that. But he can. He does go for even. Now he does have resilience. So he's technically mitigating the fact that he's down a card by having this here. But now you don't get the next, the grace. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we get our boy. This is a great card to have. Okay, that's good. We miss out on two cards. It could, it could be like worse. Now, I guess I open up. This could be an engine. This is a guaranteed engine. No. That doesn't matter where it's, it's at. One way assault, I assure you. He boosts it. Where does that have to be? That has to be range, so he's roll stacks for me. That's nice of him. It's actually so nice of him to do that. Yep. Okay. Reset the order. One day I'll return, but you'll not live to greet me. He is playing cards. Okay, so I don't have any movement targets at the moment. I play her, she dies. No, it's chill, it's chill. Play something light. We must open our gate forthwith. Equal to the total duration of frost on the side and then fuse enemy for the turn. So total duration of frost, which is four. It gets vitality four. That means it goes up to a seven. That means, doesn't it lock? Set on part then locks so. up. Hear me out. I play it. Stable Mark no that. Further. It boosts. At the end of turn, it will lock itself because he's at five. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Death to the invader! This is annoying because it eats my frost. That is actually really annoying. It didn't lock itself. Oh, higher has to be higher. Lilia says higher. Let's do. I could do crew. Your souls will propel this long ship. Yeah, I'll do crew. Nice. I not. I do knock off the shield. Oh my goodness. If war you want, then war you shall have. Now it's locked. Now I don't have to deal with that. 
So I can move any movements matter. No movements necessarily matter. I can move her to the back. Then I can play her. She will die. Don't make me do this. I've seen how it ends. No, she will not, because I don't know how to read. I mean, she dies, right? Because she gets boosted. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, because I can move her. We shall avenge Kalantha. This is very interesting. So I move her. There is no escape. She boosts my board. At the moment, then I played this and this. I'm up by a lot of points. I'll save it. Yeah, I'll save it. I'm up by a lot of points. Oh, these dogs have no honor. That is annoying. That is a lot of points. A little bit annoying. Okay, that's fine. Then I do this. I boost this up. Wow, huge point swing. And just in case he gets cheeky, move that to the back in case he wants to reset the ability. And then I get it because I do this. I could replay a card, I don't want to. Then I summon. She summons herself back. But guess what? She dies. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Not even was scared for a moment. I had too many points. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's so you really have to have s about six turns of frost on the opponent's side just for her to instantly die. Interesting. 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 Okay. Next matchup is. Ooh. Ah! Inspiration. Ooh, test nice coin. My patience. What did I call it? Inspiration? The, the uprising. Okay. The peoples. Having this in opening is nice. Uh, that's a mole. That's a mole. What's also nice is this, this can set you up your frost. What I mean by that is that it gives you another card to have frost. So usually people, I like that. I like that it's, it's disloyal. So usually when people roll stack, it's like I give them a card for my frost to affect, even if they stack their roll, you know? Which is, which is interesting. It's an interesting way to help frost. It's like, Give them a way to always proc their frost by giving them a way to summon a card to their opponent's field. Interesting. It just sucks because the death wish though is weird because you want to boost all the enemy units, so you want to have multiple units to get the boost. But this incentivizes you playing it early. The fan oh, Yeah, not mock mine. Cringe, 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 cringe. Defender. I'm a devotion deck, so I have no heat wave. Hmm. Do I give him round one? Do I care? Do I just... Maybe I just give him round one. Or I can leader charge, move it, kill it. Nah, that's too committal. That's too committal. Enough of this! Yeah. Enough, I said! 
I could easily give him round one. But do I want to let him bleed me? Oh! A witcher with no honor is no brother of mine. I haven't seen this guy in forever. Nice. At the moment, I don't have dominance and I don't have frost. I could set up frost with Gales. But obviously, he knows I want frost. Alright, let's play him. Oh, let's me know. Naivety is a fool's blessing. Now, I could play this. Or I could just play this. Wait. Enough of this! Alright, guys, can I, I get more frost anyway? Enough of this! Enough, I said! Not really. Enough of this! Enough, I said! Hmm. I guess I'll play chill. Do something light. Shield and armor is cringe. What's nice, I'm gonna reach dominance. Which is pretty good. He wants to defend with this, so it's not like... We're not committing too much. I could be committing too much in the round one. Like, even though I just... Like, what did I do? Like, play... My riders? Like, it seems like I... Whoa. Who stand before his royal majesty? Yeah, this seems easy. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna place it in this sequence, so this will reach dominance first. Ah! Yep, then get boosted. Play a copy of one of them, then remove from the list. Okay. So that's one of the cards you banish. Not good reason. They call him the stern. If the king demands this ahead, is super I'll give him yours. Honestly, dude. I'll go on the next round. I don't even mind. You know, I'm technically getting a lot of points, like two points per turn. Like, I could for sure stay in it. I could easily have stayed in it. But then again, he has all of these things. Dang, I would like a little bit more gold, please. What? My moles have been so easy. <laughs> my moles have been so easy. Alright, so does he push or does he pass? That is a question. Does he push or does he pass? Hmm. He pushes. You don't click? Then I just take this trade. Yes. Interesting that you didn't click. Interesting. That's really interesting that you did not click. I'm gonna see you didn't see that coming. Wild Hunt Warriors coming in clutch. Alright, what was the point of that? I wanna thin out my deck. So hear me out. I'm gonna do this. Let's say you don't get played. This is our finest cooking stock. Let's say this you don't get played. Then on my deck. All right, so there's some good hits. I need triple golds. Absolute. Okay. Um, 
I got two moles. I can draw so poorly. I have two movements. Okay, okay, we take those, we take those. I whiff hard. My Niagara Far is for uh, the child always. Yeah. I'm going first. I came, I saw, I conquered. Again. I can set up Aristocrat, which helps me with Frost. I can set up this. I can just play that for points. I, okay, I think I'll do... She doesn't matter, so I'll do Aristocrat. Do I stack? I don't think it matters. Oh, what is this peasant wine? Fetch the cup bearer. She said, fetch that good stuff. <laughs> so I think I'll double stack Aristocrats. Because she's doubling up my frost. That's fine. I'll greet it. So as I was saying about the silk vendor. Yeah, I can greet it. Then when I stack my frost, it gets multiplied like insanely. I also have a purify. If he does like anything weird. Okay, seems pretty chill so far. I think I start off with Niagara Forest crew. Now then it's turn, it should do do. Yep, yes sir. <laughs> I'll stack up a bunch of frosts. And then I have plenty of movement because they all move. So it's not like you know I'll be in trouble. Like I said, I have plenty of movement. You can keep roll stacking, my boy. Okay. Lock. That's cringe that you would do that. Purify any unit. Do I have dominance? I do. Corpses overboard. Live ones to the cage. Aggressive. But it's fine. A little aggressive, but it's fine. He echoed for a lock, so shows me he really, he really believes. I mean, they are annoying, but they're not a threat. They're annoying, but not a threat. I would say. Oh, unlucky rubber ducky. Spawn more frost. Should get doubled. Or well, it would get doubled. Come on. What do you got? What do you have? I want to get Winter Queen out though. So I will have to move something. Hopefully, I'm waiting for something big. You just like having fun, don't you? So damage herself by four. She can't. She's not in line to get hurt. Could just be chill. Like I have time. Like I have time. I could have played her now though, then proceeded to kill it with like movement. I fear not for faith, guys. Alright, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if I said no you? <laughs> Ah, 
You're not playing a lot of points, my boy. Where's the points? He used everything in round one. You could have saved that for round three, but then I had to purify, though. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Wow, that's no <laughs> Here, why not, bro? Let's use a charge. And then I do something like this. That means she should die. When the white frost comes, the world yep. will yes, sir. be cleansed. <laughs> Perfectly managing that frost. How big is my boy, the golden child? He's not massive. Girl, playing. okay. What with. witch are you playing? Igni! Not your lucky day. You monster. This double shield is kind of annoying, though. Um. I play. I have to play her now. I have to will the child now. Because he's gold. Kyle and then Kyle. she comes out and she'd instantly die. Yeah, so just like that. Fight. Wow, these aristocrats did work. Oh, that was cool. They disconnected. Listen, I don't mind a disconnect, but you're basically at the end of the game. Could have just laid it out. You're basically at the end of the game. You know, like, or you could have surrendered, but I guess you want to keep your rank, so you got to do what you got to do, right? All right, let's see. Skellige. Skellige. Skellige is interesting. We're going first. Cool. All right, where's any free mulligans? No free ones. All these cars are fine. This car, I'm starting to like real a lot more. Um, no, well, this car is not that good. Riders is great. Um, I don't think I'm setting up a lot of frost for this one. It's, it's it might be hard to get dominance with Skellige, but we can try. Okay. I can open up with this. Oh, it might die. Okay, good. Let's see what lists there have. Fury. Spawn definitely start on enemy road by one. Watch all three charges you just play art of. Oh, they changed this. This is different now. Spawn deploy spawn a different spawn opposite road damage by one. So you spawn three sirens on enemy row. And then on summon, on deploy, he spawns a fourth one. Ah, this could get your bloodthirst. Great sword. I gotta race that thing. I gotta race it before he can heal enough. He has an easy kill on that, but how bad does he want to kill that engine? On a scale of one to bad, how bad? Do I have movement? How crazy it is if I search for movement? Is that crazy? If I waste my gales for movement. <laughs> is that crazy? Dude, that feels crazy. How hard am I playing into this round? Dude, my hands jacked. I think I I think I think I just do it for the lulls. Where's an easy movement? This guy, right? Yeah. You humans. 
I should have popped that. I still have dominance. I can still play a little bit more. Heal something by two every time he heals. Spawn a siren. Okay. We're getting you point swing. Up by a lot of points. Doubled his points. And then some. Fergus, master of the craft. <laughs> Tell me another one. Does this care about roll? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I don't think I want to play into this anymore. Do I wrath? I am six cards. Can he do it in one? Heals twice. I don't think you can do it in one. I'm getting two points a turn. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can do it in one. That is not one. What this? What scratch? Yeah, that's fine. There's a limit on the crate gray sword. I mean, he'll get like one more siren. Hamdall. Finally. You get Hamdall? We get his Hamdall, so we get Dagger, Hamdall. Yona, Yona's probably was met for round one with the great sword, so I don't even I don't even blame him. Hello, bug. Whoa. Ear glass and ears. So there's no way he plays, so I just need a dry pass card. Do I run into Defender? Oh, this hand is crazy. I don't want to mull anything, bro. How many golds I got? Do I want to mull a gold? This hand is crazy, bro. It's crazy. We serve her huh? who is virgin, mother, and crone. Are you trying to get like an extra card out, card out of me for free or something? I speak for the land to see, and the lady is content. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I'll thin out my winter queen. I don't mind. I'm just trying to figure out what are you doing right now? What's this on one? No. Thanks for that. Ed Gimbrill. Truth is a shard of ice. Like, now you're down two cards. Why would you... Bl How confident are you in your deck that you think that... Okay, so does does Nagofar have a target? No, I need to give it a target. Um Okay, that's cool. I go first. Rolls don't matter, I think. And Hemdal is out, so stacking doesn't matter. 
Toss it onto the pile, then burn it with the rest. Oh, what is this peasant wine? What Fetch is the this cupbearer. peasant wine? You pet. Never mind. Let me see how hard I can greet this. Maybe he like starts killing stuff. Oh, I do not mince words. You get me so angry, bruh. So as I was saying, you have a vendor? something else. You get me so angry, man. Now I play art, art death. Get like, I was gonna get two extra things of frost, but I'll get one. I didn't use any of his charges, by the way. I just realized. The target's damage with different targets. Okay. I could do light and just do crew. Yeah. Get Are the, you cold, human insect? It won't be long. Get the points coming up. Ooh! I can use this for Red Riders. Oh, that's so true. Use it to replay her. You just gave me so angry. You know that? Just gave me so angry, man. This is how much provision is this card? Four? So it does three at five, and then it does like basically three more. So it plays for eight for four if you get it set up right. That's pretty good. So is that your thing? I guess that's my bad. I played into that. Um, this one's at two. Replay you. Doesn't matter where I place oh, you. Good. The Light. frost is for. Uh, 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 uh. Not a step further. She instantly comes down. I think that's actually really good. Don't do this. I've seen how it ends. Now you have no damage units. Now you have no damage units. <laughs> Okay, there's his guy. Tomorrow I'll drink with our forefathers! Does it does she care about a wild hunt card or a card or well I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh a wild hunt unit, uh a unit. That's not bad. I'll move the biggest guy over. I don't have dominance. We're chilling, we're chilling. At nine, he's gonna get so huge. No! You took out my things. Oh, he was forced to play it. Okay. They're fully trained for discretion. If you know what I mean. Look at that. Mm. 
Now when I play your boy, Aridin, she comes down. He's probably gonna try to get my crew. Portals. Or at least I don't have to worry about him. You shall die, uh back row. Play her, she dies. Boost everything. And I guess I'll move you here. And you can go here. I have too much Ross. Now he's taking so much damage for turn. His last card dies. Well, again, I don't know why you bled me like that. Well, here, hold this. Wow, one. All right, good games. <laughs> I don't. You you were chilling. You just had the pass. Why did you greet it? Why did you greet it? Why? You were chilling, man. We had to greet it. Oh, that was cool. GGs though. GGs. GG's. All right, guys. Hope you did enjoy those matches. As always, you know the drill. Make sure to like, comment, and course, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell on your way out to catch future uploads. And you always, guys, you know the drill. Make sure you give 120% in whatever you're doing.